what goes up must come back down check out what happened in the market okay guys s p 500 we had that 408 which on the 233 the half day chart you can see right here is almost to the top of where we got december 13th 2022 and then we sold off really hard after that and i believe this was a fed minutes day or a cpi day and then we sold really hard off so similar thing happened here right we touched the top band on the half day we almost broke the 410 level we hit 408.16 and then we continued to sell off so uh, 127 we hit that we gapped down this morning uh, to 400 jumped that gap real quick to try to close the entire gap we almost closed the entire gap to the bottom of this red candle in 13 which was 406 about we hit 405 and then we continue to sell off the rest of the day now this was an easy trade if you were able to see that okay look we gap down below there's going to be a little bounce get in um, some puts here on the five minute time frame uh, on the 50 day average right here on the 13 and ride it all the way down to the 200 day average on the 13. Now, as long as you stay below this EMA and as long as the higher time frames were pointing down, so the, the half day chart and the 55 and the 34 were hanging, were pointing down. Let me pull those up real quick for you guys. So yeah, I just wish my screens could fit more. Um, we'll work on that in the future, but on the 55 chart, you can see here, uh, 408 then we're pointing down we had the 3x right like I always show you guys the stochastic the MACD and the DMI and the price so really it's a 4x but this is 1x here being price second x being stochastic RSI third x being MACD DMI directional movement indicator is a bonus and boom off to the races sure enough you look for a lower time frame entry this wasn't a really good entry chart um, so to speak at but if you went down to a five or a one you would get a perfect entry Let me show you I can tell you what the entry is on what chart just by looking at the time frame higher And that's what I hope you guys can get to as well I want you guys to get to that level and you can tell me where the entry would be so here's the five minute time frame Let's look for an entry that would have made sense here is the pop, the gap close. So you know it's gonna to try to close the gap. Maybe you're waiting for it to close the gap. Never did, failed. Not really a beautiful entry to tell you the truth, but the fact that we stayed below the EMA and dropped it down all day, uh, this was a nice tight chart for you to get an EMA. Now, if you really wanna go look for an entry, you can go down to the one minute chart. Not really that important. Um, I don't think that's gonna really make a difference there but let's just look it up in case um, dun, 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 dun. so the one minute chart should have the most precise entry that would probably be your entry in the beginning of the day so let's check that out on the one minute time frame let's go all the way back to this morning and sure enough we have an entry here so at 10 um, 10 08 there was like a perfect entry on the one minute chart uh, you have to be watching it pretty close and uh, you know look for this entry but here it is here's the 3x uh, it did try to break I did try to make that gap it couldn't quite close the gap failed at 405 and then we sold off and it stayed below that EMA um, on the one minute time frame from 405 all the way down to 402 so very safe trade down from 405 to 402 and then kind of got spotty um, the rest of the day kind of sideways between 400 and 402. So that is kind of how you break it down, right? You look for an entry on a smaller time frame when the larger time frame says we're going down. How do you know we're going down? Stochastic RSI. If it's cross pointing down, we're going down. MACD, cross pointing down, going down. DMI, crossing, red cross green, green going up, red going down, we're going down. So, and also histograms are changing. So as you can see, this could be turn into something big where there could be large histograms like this where we sell off for many half days or many days so let's see what happens here with the fed minute meetings on wednesday at 2 p.m they're going to release their minutes and then also we have earnings this week large earnings so just get ready for that there's going to be some craziness ahead um i just want to show you guys that i mean the same thing happened on tesla we can look at tesla tesla closed at 166 
66. Very funny number, right? You, you got to think someone's playing with the buttons here. But um, here is a tweezer top on the daily. It would have been a better tweezer if it filled this gap completely, or filled this candle completely at 162. It almost did. So these tweezers, these little um, stems here, on the daily chart, they're not touching. Uh, they're not exact same length, but they're pretty good. So let's see if it can overcome that negative day of today. Um, this looks like an M, so an M is not good uh, for it to go up on the half day chart. Although this red candle should have been larger, but it's not. And then you can really see this thing bleed out on the 13 minute chart where we had this huge run up from you know 156 and even before that to 180 and this huge run down. Now that's part because people are buying the stock uh, running out, chasing after momentum, chasing after gains, right? Then there's short covering, they're short covering really quick before this thing goes to 200, they don't wanna pay 200 a share on their shorts to cover for Tesla. And then also you had the big gain because Elon Musk on the call, right? He triggered the gain where there was kind of a muted effect. It just was like sideways until Elon Musk started talking on the on the call and said everything's fine and dandy, or, you know, roses and flowers and dandelions, right? But then the reality started setting in and then China started setting in and then all these things started setting in and we're selling off now. So let's see if Tesla can hold this up. It's not for sure down yet because you look at the daily, you look at the half day, nothing's confirmed down. Even though it doesn't look good, don't get over your britches and fall over the cliff okay so thank you guys for joining like always please like and subscribe we're gonna keep providing this amazing value to you every single day let's go stay green have a great rest of the year peace